afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the L.A. Dodgers and the St. Louis Cardinals. It's Cardinals baseball next on the show. Jack Flaherty the California born right hander is on the mound. What do you have for us on him Danny. Hey we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here career ERA in the low threes and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences rock solid pitcher does a lot of things well and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Fouled away. Betts who's often just referred to as plain old Mookie. He was a fifth round pick back in 2011. I know a lot of people weren't sure what this guy was going to become but he has blossomed into one of the superstars in the game. What an absolute steal coming out of the middle rounds to one and two now had some rain here late last night but no thunderstorms in the forecast today game time temperature 89 degrees and a fastball is swung on and missed and there is your first out of the contest. The Here's the pitch. Coach. Number nine. Popped him up. Goldschmidt has room in foul territory. And that's the second out of the inning. Time now to check out the lineup for the visiting Dodgers. Dero, daytime road game for him. What you got? Well, Matty, you look at this lineup. The key to success is scoring early. Putting the other team on their heels and allowing their own pitcher to go out there and feel like he can execute his game plan and attack and stay in the zone. This offense needs to get on the board. Behind 0 and 2 now. Ran one in tight that time is all he can do is foul this one away. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that a swing and a miss. That retires the side and that will do it. Dot. Walker Bueller a Kentucky born right hander gets the starting nod. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here career ERA in the low threes and that's not an easy thing to do in the we day and age of small three. ballparks and guys Impressive swinging for the fences rock solid pitcher does a lot of oh. things well and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today in there no balls and a strike. Barely able to make contact down 0 and 2 now. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. There now a go. check swing here. Did he go around? No, says third base umpire Ricky Holiday. Ball one. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Wong will take the turn and head for second now. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay. But he is in there with a triple. And these fans could not have asked for a better way to start their day. A leadoff triple in the home half. And they're off and running. Here's Matt Carpenter. And a pitch takes off inside and gets away. And no advance. It's ball one. The 1 0 home. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Two balls and a strike to Matt Carpenter. And there are our umpires for this one. Working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. Two and two count. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. 
Wong at third with nobody out. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. And he's able to lay off there for ball four. And that'll put runners at the corners now with still nobody out. That is her. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. No career at bats for him against this particular arm in the past. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And it's fouled away. Goldschmidt, or Goldie just for short, he was an eighth round selection back in the 2009 MLB draft. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. A 1 1. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Skied into straightaway right. Betts is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. The relay. And now he throws on the brakes, but he can't get back to first, and he's nailed for the second out. Big mistake there. So Paul DeYoung digs in next, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh. That misses to the Cardinal shortstop, and it's even at 1-1. One and one. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes. Yep, one and two. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And so it's one run on one hit. No errors. And no one left. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing in one. Bellinger is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. And he popped him up, drifting back behind first. Catch made out there by Wong, and that's your first out. That is it. The third so here's how the Cardinals are positioned defensively. And let's focus on the captain of the defense, Yadier Molina. Future Hall of Famer, nope. ability to control a pitching staff yep. and nope. shut down the opposition's running game. Here's a swing and a miss, one nope. and one. one, and one. We're in the second with the Redbirds holding a 1-0 lead. Fouled off. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. And I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. 1-2-3 go the Dodgers. They're on the Last half of the second set to go, and here now is the catcher, Yadier Molina. Here comes the first pitch. 
Hit hard to short. Reined in. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Hey, let's take a look at the Dodgers on defense. And let's focus on Corey Seager. Cal Ripken Jr., anyone? This guy looks like the spitting image of Iron Man. I think he's just scratching the surface of a Hall of Fame career. Multiple MVPs, gold gloves, you name it. Corey Seager is on fire. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. That misses one and two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two strikes to count. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting Jock Peterson. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Turned on down the line. Down the left field line and deep. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he fouls this one off. Hard hit ball to second. That's a hit, the first in this game for the Dodgers. Hey, guys, that's an excellent job right there. That's a back foot slider. Usually those are kryptonite for most batters, and he's able to fight it off, keep his hands inside the baseball, and deliver a base hit. No balls and a strike to count. Now a wave and a miss looked like the slider there. A runner at first with no outs here. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Boy, he sped him up in this head bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this head bat. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. From the belt, the pitch. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. One there. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Next up for Los Angeles, Mookie Betts. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Slow little roller to third. He's got it. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and is... Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Tommy Edmund. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Bats on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So one gone here in the St. Louis third. And the pitcher digs in next. It'll be Jack Flaherty. Bun attempt is popped into foul ground. Smith is there, and he has it for the out. Here's Colton Wong now. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. Popped into the air, back behind second. Lux is under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One. Next for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. 
I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. Strike two called on the inner half. 0 and 2 now. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Hit softly down the line at first. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Chopper to short. And there's out number two. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. That's in. Ball two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Full count, Full count to Bellinger. Three balls, two strikes. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Slider clocked in the mid-80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One. Back with Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as the TCU product. The left-handed hitting Matt Carpenter is the first to bat in the inning. Lays off 1 and 0. Outside with the cut fastball there, and it's a two ball count. Two and one after the foul ball there. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat and that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Hit on the ground to third. Glove by Turner. And there are two away now. How about it? So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in the Illinois State product Paul DeYoung. Into the corner and slicing foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Pitch is popped up. Smith is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Cardinals, but they lead it 1 to nothing. Welcome back to Bush Stadium as we send it down to Heidi. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs, so the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Huddy. And a leaping effort there, but it's over his head into left center, a base hit. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact. Oh, and he can't come up with it. 
Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, all, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You don't deal with a spot like that. That's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. And Goldschmidt able to put the squeeze on it here. One away. Now batter, the pitcher. So stepping in, Walker Bueller, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Now so striding in, Mookie Betts, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And it's fouled away. The 0-2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to hit is the catcher, Yadier Molina. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled off. Oh and one the counts of Molina. Behind oh and two now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. And that's swung on and missed by Molina as he sat down on strikes for the first out. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Fowler behind a ball and two strikes. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. To two balls and two strikes now. One run, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Rip down the line, and this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he'll reach second now with one away. Wow, this is a perfect example of a Wiley veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. No balls in one strike. One out and a runner on second base. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch fouled away. Ready on 0-2. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. In comes Bellinger. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And that will bring in the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Number nine. 
Line shot to first, and there's one away. Up next to the Dodgers, the first baseman, Max. Next up is Max Muncy. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Nope. He'll hold oh. off on the slider to start the at bat. It's nope. ball one. Oh, no. No runs, three hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. One and one to the Dodgers first baseman. A ball and two strikes now. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And the Dodgers are back even now at one apiece. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. So here's Cody Bellinger. As he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And that's in there as well. 0 and 2 now. One out. Nobody on. Slider laid off for a ball. Wow. That was a pretty good two strike slider right there. I think that would fool them. And the umpire too. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. We know he's probably still thinking about that game-tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it bothered him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. And Wong will make the catch to retire the side. But the Dodgers are able to tie things up on the solo home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. All even now at 1-1. Welcome back to Bush Stadium as we send it down to Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And he mentioned they need to show a lot more patience with their at-bats moving forward. It's been a struggle for them to get anything go. going. And he said they just seem way no too pitcher. anxious right now. Yeah. The numbers back Your that up, too. Please. They've swung at the first pitch more than 70% of the time in this Number game. 15. So their focus going yeah. forward is to be a little bit more relaxed yeah. and willing to let the at-bats come to them. Matt? Thank you, Heidi. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Yeah. Owen oh 2 the count to Miller. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Stays alive, still 0-2. Takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of his secondary pitches so far on this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. And he watches one miss outside. 2-0 oh now. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. 
Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Peterson has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The, bat. the next to bat the for St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. Oh. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One left for the Cardinals. Score remains deadlocked at one. Andrew Miller is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 21. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. And he takes this one high, one and one. And it's fouled away. The one, two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Count is even at one and one to Peterson. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And he will get there to make the running play. And that will end the inning. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. Do up for the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now, as it appears they have both a lefty and a right hander up and throwing. DeYoung in an 0 2 hole here. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Slider laid off for a ball. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Protecting with two strikes. Went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The 2 2 one more time. It is looked at and the count moves full. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Grounded to short. And that's the second out. Now that. Trying to pick things up where we left Dexter. off. Dexter Fowler, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Just missing here, 2-0. Boy, that's a tough pitch to take right there. I'm not sure if you're guessing or you're sitting on a pitch, but boy, that was awfully close to being called a strike. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. Oh. He's a guy that could ambush you 
and lose one over the wall. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Hoo-wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And the count will be full. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Heading for second now is Fowler. And your go-ahead run is in there at second base as he's got himself a two-out double. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Ready with the 1-0. Into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Fowler rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Boy, those have to feel really good, d -Roy. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Adam Kolarik will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Austin Barnes will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. Pickoff throw to third and a dive, but he's back. The set and the 1 0. This is in the air to left. Peterson has a read on it, and that retires the side. In the inning, lead to a run for the Redbirds. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Yep, one and two. The slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Well, this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first out. Now back. now back to the top of the Dodgers order. Digging in, Mookie Betts. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here comes the first pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Carpenter is there. The throw will be in time at first, and Miller's got it rolling here. Two away. Into the box, Gavin Lux. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1-0. Lifted the other way down the left field line. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Fielded by Goldschmidt, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Cardinals two and the Dodgers one. Harrison Bader is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. And 
and this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Kalara is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. And there's one down now. Now that. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. One for two with a triple so far in this one. First pitch on its way. Softly hit toward the hole. Scooped up. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Standing in, Matt Carpenter. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter. When we talk about the best hitters in our sport, I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there. Check pitch on a swing. That ball wasn't even close to the zone. Popped him up. Barnes waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They lead it two to one. Jordan Hicks comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 12, Jordan Hicks. All set for the start of the inning, and that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. Now a check swing here. Did he go around? No, says third base umpire Ricky Holiday. Ball one. Fouled off. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Now here it comes. Hit hard back up the middle, and this will make its way into center field for a base hit, and the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. You can't ask for anything more than getting a leadoff man on right there. It brings the go-ahead run to the plate. He's in position to do some damage. It'd be interesting to see how the manager plays this one. Ready now, Justin Turner, 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Turner in front at three balls and a strike. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Now Justin back. Turner takes the, the hat trick with his third oh. strikeout of the night. Here's Corey Seager. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. 1 and 1 the count now. High in the air down the right field line. Fowler on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Here's Jock Peterson now. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And a rather interesting decision here is they'll put him on and move the runner into scoring position now. Well, that's one way to do it, I guess. An intentional walk is one thing, but an intentional walk with a man on first is another. Strange strategy. I don't quite get it. On the corner at the knees, 0-1. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Taylor, originally from the state of Virginia, he was a fifth-round pick during the first-year player draft of 2012. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds. And he will be called out at third in a tough way to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here.
pitching and defense game two to one the final score this afternoon the St. Louis Cardinals jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back Andrew Miller pitches well enough to get the W Walker Bueller pitched well allowing only two earned but ends up taking the loss so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the show